Hello everyone, this is Diane and here are the cookbook junk journals that I've been working on and they are ready. I am going to be putting them in my shop on Friday um, at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today's the 20th, so that would be Friday the 22nd of March. So let's just go through them. They're both about the same size. So this one is just about five and a half by eight and a half. And the spine is about two inches, maybe slightly less. This is not a vintage cookbook, but it is a cookbook that I found at a flea market and I just loved the cover. Just such a pretty design. Just rubbing off a little bit of glue there. Um, this is a label that I printed from Roxy Creations. She has a sheet of labels which are gorgeous. And then this is a sticker. This is the paper pad that I used, um, Homemade with Love by Karina Gardner from Cartabella. And it came with a sheet of stickers. And these papers are quite heavy cardstock with a bit of a texture to them. Very nice quality. Um, this is a design team project for Old Design Shop on Etsy, and I will link that below. They are not pages, they are ephemera, so I will point them out as we go through. So on the spine, I added this beautiful lace with a ribbon run through it. I put the, this is a vintage ribbon, the lace is not vintage, and I left the back plain because it's so pretty. It has a hitch fastener and a hair tie to hold it closed because it's kind of fat. I didn't do anything to this because I liked the end papers as they were. This is the first of the Cartabella papers, heavy paper here, and I made a lot of collages out of uh, vintage fabrics and newer fabrics and vintage and new laces and various things that I just sewed together. I did a video on those clusters. And I used um, recipe cards, um, vintage and new recipe cards. These are vintage ones from the Betty Crocker recipe card library, which I believe are from the 70s. So tucked inside this is a recipe card that I probably picked up at a flea market. I don't think it's extremely old though. And this is one of the collaged um, journaling cards that I made and this is torn off of a vintage pumpkin label, a canned pumpkin label, and this came off of I think the same label. I just punched it out. And it's stitched to coffee dyed paper. And then this is just a little recipe card from Tupperware and it has a recipe for chocolate eclairs and it's got somebody's address on there. Previous owner maybe. This is a very, um, I'm not sure of the type of paper that is, almost handmade, but it's, someone sent these to me, a stack of these place cards and I love the linen-like quality of those cards. And then I did some stamping. This is from this book. And someone sent me a piece of fabric with pictures and words about cooking and baking. So the fabric flips are made with this fabric. There's a piece of satin ribbon at the top. There's a guest check and one of the stickers. Some more stickers here. When I finished the books, before I sewed them together, I went through and added stickers. There's another one up there. This is from a uh, one of the little pamphlets from the 40s or 50s. So I, I was able to pull them out so that the, it was a full folio. So the other half of this is on the other side. And this is one of the um, old design shop images. Did I miss any of them yet? Must be that's the first one. There's a little tab here that I made. This is an old design shop image. Another of the Betty Cracker recipes and a recipe card. This is also from, oh, this is from the other, the other cookbook.
Yeah, and this one is from this cookbook, I believe. Or maybe it's from something else. I don't know. So here we have an envelope. I did a video showing these as I decorated them. Uh, it's a, a page taken from a large cookbook called The Chocolate Bible. And I just folded them. Nothing fancy. And then the stitching is in here where I stitched it into the signature. And then after I glued it shut, I have these recipe cards to put inside. There's just a plain index card. This one says recipes. This is a Betty Crocker card. And this is a very vintage one that's kind of crumbling. But I put it in there because it's really cool. And of course, you can add your own recipes in any of these pockets. You can take out what I've put in, add your own. There's lots of space for writing recipes. I wouldn't use this as a cookbook in my kitchen, but I would use it to write down uh, family heirloom recipes, traditional recipes, or just to journal in about your memories around food. Um, there's a recipe card there and one of my tags that I made, and this was cut from that piece of fabric. This is Old Design Shop. Here is the stacked pocket that I did on a video. So it's got three pieces of brown of um, craft cardstock as pockets, and I decorated the fronts of them. This is Old Design Shop, as is this one. And these cards are from um, Seven Gypsies, but they're pretty old. Some stamping here. Lovely looking pie. Some more design shop images. This one, this is from a sheet of um, flashcards that she has on that site. And that one is hers. And then in here is a little order form from 1992 from a magazine. An old cast iron stove stamped on there. This is Old Design Shop Image, one of the color ones. I glued it on as a little tuck spot. This is one of her images. It's actually um, artwork by Jesse Wilcox Smith. I love it. And this is part of the Cardabella paper was a sheet of uh, recipe cards to cut apart. And then this I just got from the internet. I didn't put anything in there. I'll put something in there. Second signature again has um, Betty Cracker card and there's one tucked inside and then this vintage index card, tabbed card. These are old design shop images, and all of the things tucked inside are also. A messy kitchen is a happy kitchen, and this kitchen is delirious. I should say that about my craft room. <laughs> this is from the old design shop. This is a vintage recipe card. One of the stickers, measuring equivalents. I was just wondering if that's what's on here. Yep, there's some equivalents on the back. So you're all set. These are images that I had cut from my with my Cricut from um, Suburbia was the name of that cartridge and this one is in my kitchen or from my kitchen or something like that. This is from Old Design Shop. And this is just a stamp. I stamped it and cut it out. Yearly egg account ledger page. This is a printout. I think I found it on Pinterest a long time ago. Um, the next envelope And some cards to go inside. I didn't stick them in because I just glued them as letting it dry. And this is a page from a vintage magazine. Quite a large one. Pictorial Review, April 1930. 
got recipes and it's talking about a spring luncheon. So I thought that was interesting. Some sticker pieces. And these two pieces I cut with my Cricut. It says stir and there's a rolling pin that I used as a belly band and I put this vintage current recipe card in there. Sticker. Oh, this is a sticker too, but it's from a sheet of labels that I had. It's got a rolling pin on it. Some stamps. This is from the old design shop. There's a sticker that says love to cook. This little piece of vintage fabric is from a little old um, doll dress. Recipe card and this lovely image of ladies. Looks like they're having tea. This is from the old design shop. And here is a recipe card glued on as a pocket and a, a image from the old design shop. I love the looks of this one. I like the colors. I like this pie with this background and the colors of this with that background. And even these match it. All of this um, turquoisey color. This is a vintage recipe, seven cents or um, coupon, seven cents off of a Pillsbury bread mix. Old design shop. I love that little measuring cup there. Lemon meringue chiffon, and this is a recipe card, and this is a vintage card with some glued on newspaper recipes. I love this stamp. It's from Stampington and Company from a long time ago and this is called Sugar Baker. She's country themed. She has a bag of sugar, she has a cookbook, a rolling pin, all a cookie, cookie cutters, and baskets. I just love this. So I stamped her in each of the journals. These are stickers. I may have put, mixed the signatures up because I think the signatures that contain these pages should have been in the other book and then the other book will have the pages that came out of this book but that's okay we're sharing recipe cards there and this is a piece of a vintage tablecloth that I found at a flea market and I just um, sewed some rickrack to the top and sewed it on as a pocket and I left this piece hanging off the edge This is from the old design shop, Sour's Flavoring Extracts. Oh, I didn't put anything in there, so let's put this in there. Cherry Crepes. This card. Vintage card chocolate chip cookies. This is from the old design shop. I put it on as a tuck spot with this little piece of eyelet sewn on, and this is a label. I think it's from the current company. This is from the old design shop. vintage recipe pecan pie and this has dill vegetable dip part of the recipe handwritten on there these are stickers of measuring cups 
I just stitched this little scrap of extra paper there and there's old design shop there. I had a lot of fun making these. There's another of the label stickers with a whisk on it. This is old design shop. Recipe and one of my sewn together cards with a little piece of the fabric. And then here we have this image from the old design shop and it's a pocket with a recipe card tucked inside. So this one is just going to be called recipes. This one, I'll just call this one cookbook, I guess. The name of the book was Cook My Darling Daughter. I covered that part up with these rosettes, but I wanted to leave all of these images here. And I just put one of the stickers on as a label on the front. Again, it has the hitch fastener with the hair tie. Um, this one, it has the hidden binding. So I sewed it to, oops, I gotta glue that, glue that again, but I sewed it to a piece of cardstock um, chipboard that's covered with the gingham fabric. I sewed the signatures to that and then glued it in, but I think I didn't wait till it was dry before I started handling it. So I'm just gonna glue that again. So this is from the old design shop. It's I think it's about setting the table properly and this little cute little image there is from the old design shop. And I put this tag in there. I used scraps of the Cartabella paper to decorate the end papers and I used some gingham fabric on the inside of the spine. I love this page from Cartabella. This is made like this and I didn't cover it up with a pocket and I like this little um collage here. So I put the pocket on the inside. It's got one of my sewn together journal cards and I cut this piece from the, actually tore this piece from the fabric. It says baking. And here's a recipe from Wesson Oil. And a handwritten vintage recipe for Tremens Special. This is not a recipe, it is a menu. <laughs> one quart milk, one can sardines, one box crackers. Rush home at 11.50, slam on the table and serve. <laughs> That's hilarious, I didn't even read that. <laughs> I'm sorry little off-center there. This is from the old design shop. Some of the images are the same in each book and some of them are different. Like I don't think this one was in the other one. But I know this one was. Another scrap of the paper there. Well this is one of the pages from this book so it must be I used pages out of that book for both journals. This is from the old design shop. Dauntless brand spicy hot catsup. There's some stickers in the corners. This says one teaspoon and this says one cup. This was torn a little bit, so I put on some washi tape. Did a collage here. And on the back, there's space for writing. And here it says quarter cup and one tablespoon. I used um, Angel Biscuits recipe and a scrap of of um, the paper, sewed them onto coffee dyed paper. And this is a vintage recipe. It's so crumbly that the top of the the title part is broken off. Again, we have the stacked pocket with things inside. There's a sticker of a flower canister. This is from Old Design Shop, a jello mold. That image again of the children praying. Second signature.
there's Sugar Baker. This one has a timer as the stopper. I had made these pieces quite a few years ago. I was making a bunch of uh, recipe kind of mini journal type of things. And I had a bunch of my Cricut things left over, so they got to be going. They got to go in here. I still have a few left. This is from the old design shop. This stove is also from my Cricut. I just trimmed the sides off of this so it would fit in here. And this is that image. Is that from the front of this? Yeah. No, it's different. This is from the old design shop. Here's a recipe card that I stitched on as a pocket. This is from Seven Gypsies, and this is one of the things that I made, a trifold with some ledger paper, and this is from a magazine. Old Design Shop. This is from the Old Design Shop. Another little wedge of cheese. And, um one of her flashcards. Fruits ablaze. Cherries jubilee, jubilee and bananas flambe. And these are from the old design shop. This is a sticker. Those pies look yummy. Grasshopper pie. This one is one of the little journal cards that I made and I sewed this on as a little tuck spot for a couple of the flash cards. I have to glue that on better too. Because these papers are textured, it's a little difficult to get the glue to stick. There's a sticker, a uh, tuck spot. piece of the tablecloth with a handwritten recipe for Santa's whiskers. I think that's a Christmas cookie with coconut on the outside to look like Santa's whiskers. Not sure. I love that image. Mmm, love those strawberries too. Perfect corn griddle cakes. Piece of vintage lace here. And then this is from the old design shop. Klein Stove Company receipt. Romantic triplex, triplex, 2693 and Colombian Palace, $33.25, total $60.18 for a client stove. So this is pieced together pieces of the paper, and then this piece was used as a pocket in the back, and there's um, an image from the old design shop there. So this one is cookbook, this one is recipes, and they will be in my shop Friday, March 22nd, right? Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. 
March 22nd, and at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.